What inelastic demand means is when the price is high for something, you have a certain number of people wanting to buy the product. But when the price drops, see the line coming down here, the number of people who start to also buy the product doesn't change much, meaning the increase in the number of people buying the product doesn't change. So inelastic demand, which is a steep line, what that means is when the price goes up or down, it doesn't change very much the number of people want to buy something. So here's an example, gasoline. When the price of gas will jump to a buck 36 or a buck 37, it doesn't mean everybody's going to start walking. You just kind of suck it up like good Canadians and pay for the buck 37 anyways, right? And if the price of gas dropped all of a sudden to a buck 15 on the weekend, you wouldn't say to your boyfriend, hey, let's go to Manitoba because it's only a buck 15. You wouldn't do that, right? Because a certain product that you don't just buy more of, you don't just like buy gasoline set on fire just for fun, right? So what inelastic demand means is when you've got a product that people need, but they don't consume more or less based upon rapid changes in the price, that's inelastic demand. All right? Now, elastic demand is when the price goes up or down, there's a big change in the number of people. See how the line is flat like this? So what that means is when the price is up here, if the price drops, there's a large number of people that are going to switch. So a good example of elastic demand is gold. When the price of gold goes up, your girlfriend's getting silver for Christmas. When the price goes down, she's getting bracelet and earrings and a neck chain because you can afford it, right? Because it's one of those things you don't really need a lot. So the, one of the differences between elastic demand and inelastic demand is also substitutes. If you've got things that you can substitute, like silver for gold or other stuff like that, then people got choices. See, they can change what they want to buy. But if you don't have any substitutes, like you can't take vodka and pour it in the gas tank when you're running out and go, hell yeah, just keep driving. You got no choice. So you just got to suck it up and pay the higher price. So that's the difference between elastic demand and inelastic demand.